happy Monday! <laughs> Already don't know what day it is. And welcome to the start of another weekly reading vlog where I have diverted from my Myth Taker TBR a little bit. The prompt that I'm on at the moment is to randomise your TBR and for that I was meant to read Fly By Night. And I got this far in and it's not that I'm not enjoying it, it's just I wasn't really vibing it right now. It's quite a specific storyline that I wasn't really feeling. So I thought I'd randomise my TBR in the sense of I randomly wanted to read this. <laughs> so I am now going to be reading You Should See Me in a Crown, which I'm already halfway through. I started it yesterday. It's really, really good. This one was very kindly sent to me by Scholastic as an early review copy. So I'm hoping to get this finished today or tomorrow so I can get my review up as soon as possible because I think this comes out right at the start of July. So I want to have my review live. Really enjoying it so far. I thought I probably would because a lot of people have said really good things about it. Contemporaries aren't always my go-to but I felt like I needed a break after Kingdom of Ash. Oh! Oh I finished Kingdom of Ash. We'll go on to that in a minute. But yes this is basically about a girl who isn't able to afford to get into the university she's desperate to go to so she decides she's going to try and win prom queen because in her school the person that wins prom queen gets a cash prize so she's trying to do that and allow herself to go to university and it's basically about her journey doing that and yeah it's good it's good it's a nice little size for a contemporary it's a very cute easy read and it's meant to be really sunny this week so I'll definitely enjoy reading that in my lunch break and after work. Kingdom of Ash finished it on Sunday morning I gave it three stars. The end got better and it was a little bit emotional at the end, but overall I just felt a little bit lost with it and it wasn't quite what I was after because I just couldn't keep up with everything that was happening having not have read having not having read the other books in the series for quite some time. So it wasn't as good as I hoped it would be, but it's done now. It's done. Sarah J. Mass is still a queen of writing, in my opinion. She's absolutely fantastic. But for me, I just got a little bit lost there. But I managed to take that off my TBR, which is really great. So I'm on to a good start for the month, uh, for the month, for the week with You Should See Me in a Crown. And yes, that's pretty much it today. I am, I'm viewing some flats later this evening. I'm not hopeful for these flats, but I'm viewing them anyway because I want to try and get as much experience with viewing and see the different types of things that are on offer. One of the flats I'm viewing is quite an old flat, like it would need quite a lot of work done. And the other one is more modern, but just the costing isn't quite Right, it's, it's a bit tight, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna go see them and that'll be really exciting. So I'm doing that after work. Yeah, it's meant to be really sunny. I'm excited to read outside of my lunch break and I'm gonna crack on with my day and put my plants downstairs to water before doing all the important things. Are you a fan of my fan? Isn't my fan fantastic? Fancy me buying a new fan. My family have been subjected to my hideous jokes today because I bought a fan for my room. It's not really vlog worthy, but I just thought it'd be funny. I'm gonna go now. I've been super bad vlogging today because I've had a really, really busy day. I went to view two properties today back in my hometown, which is about an hour away from where I live at the moment. And one of them was horrendous, really, really, really horrendous and rough and just not nice. The other one was really, really good. And like, I wouldn't say perfect because it would require some work, but it was, very much love what I'm looking for, really good location, but it's had two offers on it, so probably not gonna get that one either. I, could, I can try, but it's unlikely when there's been two offers and it's like a first come, first served thing, unless something happens to the other two offers. But failing that, I'm gonna keep my eye out for more stuff, but also there's a lot of new builds coming up in the area as well, so I'm very excited. It's the start of a journey, but after we went to view the property, it was right where we used to live, and we stopped in at Waitrose on the way home to pick up some dinner. Um, and I got another plant. <laughs> this is some form of succulent and it's very pokey, <laughs> but I love the little pot it comes in. It's very cute. And I asked Ava to name it and Ava's been really, really into watching the Harry Potter films at the moment. So I'd like you all to meet Professor Sprout, my plant. We can't remember the first name of Professor Sprout. I could just Google it. I have a feeling it's like Pomona or something like that. I don't know why I think that, but yeah, I gave Ava the range of choice of naming my plant and um, she called it Professor Sprout. So <laughs> my mum wanted to call it Spiky. Very creative names here in this household. There's Professor Sprout. I just can't stop buying plants. I think that's plant number nine. I am a proud plant mum of nine plants. I've had such a productive day though, honestly. I've got so much work done today and so much blogging work done as well. Feels good. It's a good start to a Monday when you feel this productive and it's really lovely and hot outside. So I'm excited 
to have a really lovely warm week and be able to sit out in the sun on my lunch breaks and sit out and work on the table outside that our wi-fi stretches to so yeah i'm feeling really good i hope you guys are too i hope you enjoying whatever you're up to at the moment whatever day of the week you're watching this on i hope you're feeling positive and smiley and finding some goodness in the world if you can but i will catch up with you guys tomorrow pretty much still at the same spot in you should see me in a crown because i've been so busy i haven't really read anything today but i will definitely read a chunk of that tonight i'll try and read up to about page 200 really because it's quite easy to get through so it's just it's addictive contemporaries can get very addictive for me in this one it definitely is really enjoying it so far which is no surprise because everyone was raving about how good it was so I'm just gonna go and watch Desperate Housewives now as that's our guilty pleasure as a family at the moment and then read a little bit and go to bed I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow it's Tuesday afternoon I have just finished work it's sunny outside and I'm nearly finished with You Should See Me in a Crown now I don't know if anyone else is experiencing this but every single time I pick this book up or I glance the cover or I see it mentioned on social media the Billie Eilish song You Should See Me in a Crown just goes round and round in my head and yeah is it even you should see me in a crown it is you <laughs> what about a lockdown version of you should see me in a crowd and like basically there's just someone trying not to be in a crowd because lockdown and social distancing this is what my creativity has led me to anyway i'm very much enjoying this it's just a cute ya contemporary it's lgbt liz is our main character she's not got enough money to be able to go to the college that she wants to go to to be able to do the degree in medical that she, in medical studies that she would like to do and she promised her mum who has now passed away that she would do so she's desperately trying to get the funds because she can't afford it um because she can't get the right loans i'm not quite sure how it works in america obviously in the uk we just get our student finance is covered by the government as a loan that we pay back she can't get the right finances so she has to try and win prom queen because apparently winning prom queen gets her money i mean prom queen was just like a joke at our school really of like something that a couple of people cared about and no one else did and i think it was just voted for by the popular kid no one gave a crap about it basically anyway she gets the money if she wins so she's trying to escalate her popularity but she's also really liking this girl and she wants to have something with her but her best friend is getting in the way because she wants her to be super popular and she thinks that if she goes out with this girl who's not that popular then it would drag her down in popularity and people wouldn't be as accepting and it's yeah, it's getting to the point where i think there's gonna be a big fallout so i'm gonna go outside now and read it i'm really enjoying it it's exactly what i needed to break up kingdom of ash before i go into kingdom of souls you know what kingdom Quindom? Kingdom? Crown? Kingdom? I'm doing like a bit of a royal theme. So yeah, gonna go read this now. Hope you guys are having a good day, night, morning thing. I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> P.S. Today's outfit is sponsored by Van Gogh. We've got the Van Gogh t-shirt and we've got the Van Gogh wristband. Did I show you my Van Gogh Funko the other day? Did I do this? If I didn't. The Van Gogh Funko. Hang on. Wait. Look at him, he's so cute, he could look like brush. We love to see a Van Gogh Funko because he is the king of sunflowers, has to be said. Just been set outside reading this. I'm so nearly finished, but I'm about to have dinner. I'm so nearly finished and it's so good. It just got like, it was already really good, but it just got like 10 times even more really good. And it's just <laughs> nearly made me cry. I don't think, I think I've bridged the path of crying, I think I've moved over the crying part now, hopefully. It's really good, it's a really, really lovely story and I would highly recommend it. I will let you guys know when I finish it, but that probably won't be till tomorrow because from now until when I go to bed I probably won't get much reading done, even though I've literally got like 30 pages, but it's really good. I thought I was past the tears stage. This book, I didn't expect it to be an emotional book. I thought it would be a cute book. I didn't think there would be things in it that would make me well up. So I've got 20 pages left. Excuse me whilst I go dive into a vat of emotions. I'm sorry. Right, first off, they get a gift bag at their prom. Second off, this is the contents of said gift bag. I'll read you the most impressive thing last. A commemorative mug, some gift cards to local restaurants, and a pair of AirPods. Are you kidding me? A pair of AirPods is like a hundred and eighty, like two hundred. What? What? Also, I know I said I wouldn't give you any more updates on this today, but I'm finishing it. It's happening. It is done. It is finished. It was 
beautiful. <laughs> really enjoyed this. It was really, really good. Came out on Core Pile as a very high 4.5 stars. So really, really, really enjoyed it. Just, I would highly, highly recommend. Just a brilliant, brilliant book. It comes out, I want to say July 2nd or something like that. It comes out very early in July. So by the time you're watching this, it might be out. I don't know what day is this going live. It, right at the start of July. Buy it, buy it, buy it. It's fantastic. Thank you so much Scholastic for sending me an early review copy. Absolutely loved it and I'm going to go and write my review now or I'll get up early tomorrow to write it because I want to get that up tomorrow because everyone else needs to read this book. Everyone's saying it's fantastic on social media and I'm glad it actually lived up to the hype because often I find when books are really really hyped I don't end up liking them and also I really do have to be in a certain mood for contemporary but it ticked all the boxes. It was so sweet, cute and just... Mm. I would say um, the only thing, I don't I don't know whether it's technically classed as triggering or just something that people might not like to read about, but this does include someone being publicly outed um, and not having a choice about that. So if that is something that you find quite difficult to read about, this does contain that, just to let you know. But generally, loved, 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 loved it. Now I'm going to go get ready for bed type thing and watch Death for Housewives. So now I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. We're starting Wednesday off with a new read. I started Kingdom of Souls last night and I put my phone out of reach, I put it on Do Not Disturb and I did not pick it up, which has been the first time I've done that for probably like a week or two, which is stupid because normally I'm really good at reminding myself not to be on my phone, but I've just been glued to it and I don't know why. So picked up Kingdom of Souls last night, very much enjoying it so far. I'm only two chapters in, I really, really am at the start of this book because I then fell asleep. But I'm going into this book partially blind. The main thing I know is that you can trade years of, your, years of your life in exchange for magic. But so far I'm seeing that our main character does not have yet any magical abilities and she's really, really desperate for them to come through. She's 16 and usually they should start coming through at this age at the latest and she thinks that if she doesn't get them now, she'll never get them. And there's all these different tribes that come together once a year and she thinks that this is gonna be the time when her magic hits her. I really liked hearing about the different tribes and the descriptions of how they all vary in terms of the way they look and the way they come together and the powers they have and I'm really enjoying it so far. I know that Ashley from Chronic Through Fiction really enjoyed this so I'm very much having high expectations and hopes for it. So far it's not disappointing but I am only like 30 pages in. Do I look like some kind of secret agent? Okay, get the laptop, let's go! I'm gonna set myself up on the uh table outside. I've got a back doctor appointment thing at like 11 so that's fun uh, for my scoliosis. Woo! I've been on a waiting list for seven to eight months to get reassessed again after years and um, it's happening during lockdown. Yay! But here we go. Let's do this! Let's do this! Go go go! Last week in my vlog, last last week for you guys watching this now I guess, um, I mentioned that I got some new plates and bowls and things for my non-existent home and I said I would show you them in the vlog and then I completely forgot so I'm going to show you them in this vlog. So the reason I got these is because I found ones I really liked and I thought why the hell not so we've got some big bowls, some little bowls, some medium bowls and some glasses with a bee. I very much like all of these, there's like multiple extras of each glasses back there and I got the plate set here this is this is why I wanted this plate here and then I ended up having to get this bowl because I also wanted these side plates so yeah Tesco's good for homeware guys I just love these and the bowls and, oh. now I just need the uh, the home it's it's a Beth and Pippin day today apparently it's Thursday and it's 31 degrees <laughs> There's a heat wave in the UK at the moment. It's very, very hot. I sat outside and worked yesterday and I just got way too hot. So today we're inside and the breeze is coming through my windows at the moment. And yeah, it's warm. It is really warm. But I just filmed an exciting unboxing that will be live by the time you're watching this. I'm working with Illumicrate at the moment to unbox a couple of gifted boxes, which is really exciting. So I've just unboxed the June one. You can check that out somewhere at the top here. It was an amazing, amazing, amazing box. The book is stunning. 
Today I am just going to continue to forget what day it is, I think. I've been really productive already today, it's about like, it's 11. I've been very productive, I've ticked off loads of stuff on my to-do list and yeah, feeling good. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Still reading Kingdom of Souls at the moment, I'm about 100 pages in and I'm loving it. It's really, really good. It's the kind of fantasy that I really wanted to be reading and just didn't know. So that's exciting. Here's me and a hot dog and my fan. <laughs> Pippin! Pippi! Pippin! Pippi, look, have a pool! Hello! Say hi! Doesn't look impressed. This is not my finest look, but it's 31 degrees outside. This is my current read. I was outside reading and then I had to come back in because our neighbours have decided to invite like four children over to go into a paddling pool. That's great. So I read about a chapter of this before I had to come back in because they were ridiculously loud, but I'm really, really enjoying it. I like that I don't know where the story is going because normally these kind of things can be quite predictable and you know what kind of tropes it's going to follow, but I don't know. I like the characters quite a lot. I like the relationships. I like what's being potentially alluded to some of the relationships. And I like the magic system. It's ticking all the boxes. I've had such a productive day today. This is the weirdest angle to vlog at, but we're going to do it. I've had such a productive day. Got loads and loads and loads done. I ticked off everything on my work to-do list for the day, which is nice, feels good. And I've ticked off everything on my blog to-do list for the day as well. So I can relax as much as one can relax when you can't move because it's too hot. But that's my day. Everything's edited. New videos are going up. My Illumicrate unboxing is live. It was a fab box, as I said. And I'm just going to try not to move into late dinner and then watch some Desperate Housewives later because that is the current binge show of choice and there's like 150 episodes so it's gonna take a while we watch like one or two a night as a family so getting there and then I'm trying to organize a time with Lauren from Fiction Tea to watch Your Name which is an animation film thing it's anime it's anime and um, Lauren made me watch Tokyo Ghoul last year, which was two series in at the time, and that was an anime TV series. And I really enjoyed that, so she's suggesting we watch Your Name together through the power of text. <laughs> um, so we're going to arrange that. But other than that, I'm only just still watching New Girls, so I'm not really watching anything new at the moment. This is a reading vlog, not a watching vlog, but we're just having a chit chat. So yeah, I'm going to read a little bit more of this. I think I'm going to draw the curtains blinds in my room now because... I've got a dual aspect um, curtain window situation. <laughs> window. Oh god, my brain is melting. It's too hot. Anyway, oh, everyone's saying that. I'm such a cliche. I said it. I tried not to say it's too hot. Oh, well. The sun comes in in the evening through both of my windows and it gets very hot. It's cooler in here in the morning, but yeah, I'm going to shut them in a minute. Pippin was with me all day today as well because my room was cooler for the first half of the day and then he just kind of stayed in here, which was cute because he never stays in here. It's because my mum went out to uh, go to do the food shop. So I'm going to stop rambling now. How many times do I say that in my vlogs? Quite a few. <laughs> I'm going to read Kingdom of Souls now and just melt into a little blob, I think, if I don't speak to you guys later. I will speak to you tomorrow when it is Friday and we're meant to have thunderstorms, which I like when I'm not driving in them. So I'm fine with it. Hello friends. It is Friday. This is still my current read. I feel like I'm making progress, but it doesn't look like I'm making any progress, but I'm trying to take everything in and not force myself to read it really quickly. But tomorrow I am hosting the 24 hour readathon for the Make Your Myth Take a Readathon, which is happening every Saturday. There's been a 24 hour readathon and the one tomorrow is hosted by moi. So I'll try and vlog that separately for you guys, but this will be the book that I'm reading, which is the final book for my Myth Tate Readathon TBR, which is the book with a magical battle scene in it. I have been informed this does indeed have magical battles. I've already had a magical fight, but that was kind of more of a punch up fight than a battle. So it's already kind of ticked the box, but I'm really excited to be hosting that tomorrow. So that's pretty much gonna be my Saturday. It's meant to thunderstorm today and it's still a blue sky. So I'm gonna go and work outside, I think, because it's not as hot as it was yesterday. Oh my God, yesterday was so hot. I love 
the hot weather and I love the heat when I can jump into a swimming pool. When I've got a boiling hot laptop in front of me, it's not quite as fun. But that's fine. I'm gonna go sit outside now. I went for my daily walk. I've ticked my exercise off and I've got little bits done yesterday that I needed to. So only a couple more bits to do today and then I'm done for the weekend. So I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. One of the many merits of uh, this lockdown business and working from home is being able to come into my garden, sit down at the uh, table, which is still within the Wi-Fi range, and be able to just work outside in the sun rather than having to be sat in my room baking to death because it's just a sun trap rather than being in the shade a little bit here. It's nice. It's still hot, but it doesn't feel as trapped as when you're inside. This is a nice little spot. This is my setup. It's very elaborate. Laptop, drink, phone, garden, sun, somewhere around here. I'm trying to let my hair dry naturally because I wanted to see what it would do. It's not as good as when I dry it with a diffuser, so, okay, anyway, hi, it's Saturday. It is the 24 hour Make Your Myth Take a Readathon I am hosting today, so what I'm actually doing is doing a separate reading vlog for that, so Basically, I'll probably just update you now and then update you at the end of the day in this vlog as to my reading for Saturday and then round it up. But there will be a proper reading vlog for today because I'm reading Kingdom of Souls and I'm hoping to make a bit more of a sizable chunk in it. Chunk? Dent? I want to read more of it because I'm reading slow this week. I don't know why. What did I read at the start of the week? You should see me in a crown. Read that and now, yeah, this is a slower read because there's so much happening. So I will update you that later. It's really rainy and naff, but we think we might walk to town find out if any cafes are open to be able to get a drink, like a takeaway drink. And I'm currently looking at rugs <laughs> because, um, as I've alluded to, I'm kind of hopefully maybe in the process of being able to get my own home, um, which is a bit exciting, a bit terrifying and really just scary. But um, I'm just, I'm just like having fun basically and just having a look at stuff and trying to get myself all excited for it rather than scared. So nothing's definite set in stone yet. Uh, I will keep you guys updated but yeah I'm basically on the on the journey path and yeah what did I do yesterday as well I watched Your Name which is an anime film that Lauren from Fiction Tea made me watch because she said it was really good and it was really good and the music I always love the music in anime films it makes me feel happy and cozy to watch and that was it was good I feel like I need to watch it again to let it really sink in I didn't have a clue what it was about so I went in very blind and it was just I, I didn't realise it would be the way it was, which was good. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. So that was last night. Still binging Desperate Housewives with the family. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna crack on with my day, really do a bit of editing, do a lot of reading, hopefully. Although I don't wanna say too much reading because that is when I slump myself with reading. Also got a little package from Brit from her shop, which is really cool. I'll show you what I've got. Brit is basically Brit on YouTube and she has a really great shop that's basically just all your sunflower related stationery needs and I have made several orders to her in the past couple of months because I just love all her stuff so in today's order I bought myself two little washi tapes because I got some washi tapes in a fairy loot box like a month or two ago and I really like closing my envelopes with washi tapes instead of licking them or putting sellotape tape on them so that's a good alternative and I also got this little sticker here which is very cute I love that I'm gonna put that somewhere on my like board there behind my desk. I also got the Stay Wild Moonchild bookmark. This is, I can't describe, like it doesn't, you can't really tell on camera a little bit. It's shimmery. It's got, it's, it's really pretty bookmark. And then she also included for me for free this little sunflower sticker, which is my favourite sticker. So I'm always happy to have some sunflowers on stickers. So that was my little order from, I accidentally turned off the record button. Awkward. Anyway, that was my order from Brit. I'm gonna crack on with my day and I'll catch up with you guys later. We just found that there is a TV show on Netflix called The Floor is Lava, which thus inspired myself and Ava to play our own game of The Floor is Lava with my mum yelling The Floor is Lava. Um, so that was fun. I, I think I'm in an ache in the morning. <laughs> um, Ava got a little bit excited right before bed, but that was really good fun. Anyway, I'm here to close off the weekly reading vlog. I wanted to do a little bit of a summary about what I read this week and what I thought of them. So the first book I finished this week was You Should See Me in a Crown. This is by Leah Johnson and I absolutely loved it. It's a contemporary YA. It's LGBT rep. It's just a really cute 
lovely story that will also make you cry <laughs> a little bit as well but that doesn't mean it's not fantastic I really really enjoyed this I've got a review up on my blog as well so I'll try and link that down below if editing Beth can remember <laughs> and yeah I really really enjoyed this one this was a really good contemporary to break up the fantasy that I have been non-stop reading this month and then I've also been reading Kingdom of Souls today and earlier in this week so this is how far I'm through it I'm not really I'm about halfway through I'm hoping to finish this within the next few days but there's quite a lot going on so I don't want to rush it as in the book not in my life although there's lots going on in my life too but there's lots going on in the book so I don't want to rush it and finish it too soon but at the same time I would like to finish it before the end of the month so I can actually complete my myth takes myth take readathon tbr because I don't do tbrs and if I do I don't follow them and whilst I have changed this one a little bit I'm counting it a win if I finish this book in time so I'm gonna do that so those are the two books I've read slash am reading this week really enjoyed it thank you guys for coming along with me on another reading vlog next week I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna be reading so I will keep you on the edge of your seat because I know you're desperate to know you're gonna have to wait till next reading vlog or check out my social media because I tell you what I'm reading there too speaking of that's all linked down below Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Also, thank you so much for enabling me to become monetized, which is insane. You have to have 4,000 watch hours to become monetized or to be considered by YouTube to become monetized. And to think that you guys have spent 4,000 hours, how many days is that? I'm gonna check that, because that is like, that's insane that you guys have spent that much time watching my videos. 166 days, you guys have spent 166, what? thank you <laughs> um yeah that's really exciting so you may now notice that there is ads at the front of my videos and yeah just being able to do that enables me to be able to have more time to do this kind of thing and that's just really exciting so yeah I created this well I revived this channel like two or three months ago now at the start of lockdown and I'm so excited to where it's gone and where it's going and I couldn't be more thankful I absolutely love doing this I love making videos and I'm so excited so thank you so much guys I will end this vlog here as I said, thank you so much for watching, if you did like this video you can give it a thumbs up, you can comment down below or you can subscribe to see more of my face on your feed. <laughs> Keep smiling and stay positive.